as a small creator i understand how difficult it is to sustain this career therefore you got to do what you got to do hello namaskar welcome to a brand new series called brand collaboration 101 where i share everything i wish i had known before starting getting brand deals don't forget to watch the entire series by tapping here or the link will be down in the description and let's begin So you know what is media kit, how to make a media kit and why you need two media kits. Now how to pitch brands with that media kit? Let's find out. Number one, shortlist brands. Before going, before moving ahead and doing these tasks one by one, let's bulk these tasks and do bulk approaching or bulk pitching. So first and foremost, you have to shortlist some of the brands on the following basis. Number one, relativity with your content. Let's say you make content on a recipe. So which are the relative brands that maybe you can go for for a brand collaboration? You can go with utensil brands. You can go with grocery delivering brands, etc. Number two, the brands that are collaborating with similar creators. A lot of times we see one particular brand collaborating with every other creator. It means they have a budget, they have a campaign going on and you can join that too. So just reach out to the right person and I'll let you know how to do that later in this video. So stick around and just get going. Number three, the brands that you genuinely use. For example, I use the DSLR from Canon. I use the phone from Redmi. I use the mic from Boya and I use the laptop from HP. So, you never know. <laughs> Engage with these brands organically, most preferably on Instagram. You have to understand that before going out and reaching to these brands, if you organically just respond to their stories or comment on their posts and make a genuine relationship and the brand somehow comes over to your profile, watches your content, loves your content, chances are they might approach you directly without even you taking the first step. So instead of just collaboration, think of it as a long term because brands are here to stay and so is brand collaboration. You can collaborate with one brand multiple times just by maintaining a good relationship. Number three, find the right person to communicate. Now let's say I want to contact the influencer marketer of Canon. Where do I find that person? Simply go to LinkedIn, search for the brand Canon India in my case and search for people who are working at Canon India. And I can now see the influencer marketing or the PR manager or the social media manager. Even if you are reaching out to the wrong person, they are always going to direct you to the right person. It has happened to me plenty of times and it's the best way to reach out to the right person because chances are the one that's handling their Instagram account is not the same person who decides who are going to be the influencers or the creators that we are going to collaborate with. And Instagram DM is always there. First, try to search for the person on LinkedIn or try to find their email ID. But if you can't find anything on the face of internet, then definitely Instagram DM is always there. Number four, form a solid email. So it's a no-brainer that if you want to stand out, your email has to stand out or the first message that you're sending has to stand out because first impression is the last impression. Number one, keep your email very short and concise. Don't become a storyteller yet. Just focus on what you are here for. Focus on how the brand will be benefited from the same and good to go. Number two, introduce yourself but briefly. Number four, how will the brand be benefited? Mention what they will get out of this collaboration. What are your content ideas? What is your insights? How many people can you reach from this form of content? Last but not the least, your contact details. 
Rates is something that I think you should not include your first email, but it's your choice. Last but not the least, close the email with a question. As we always talk about a call to action in our post or in our caption, you should follow the same with your email. Close it with a question like, do you think I should improve on this? Or how do you think we can make it workable? Something along those lines. Last but not the least, try to take the conversation to a call or a video call because it's easier to negotiate over a call. Also, it's faster. So always, always try to take your conversation to a call or a video call. Always, always mention your phone number, your WhatsApp number. For further more resources, check out the description below because I have mentioned some good blogs to read about and check out this video to learn things to know before collaborating with a brand. So,